Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to week 23 of the Marguerite Miller Challenge. And for this this week, we need a key, we need a building, we need a white space. I'm working on that part. Something magical. I have chosen books. Books to me are the ultimate magic. Office supply and bonus of tissue paper. And you're going to, I've got office supply, I have tissue paper. Um, and I have a theme. I know where I'm going with this one. So in doing this, in thinking about this and in starting to put things together, I realized that I have this particular building. It's a magazine ad. I'm actually going to take a little bit less of it than is actually there. Um, so this came out of a, I don't know, some magazine that I get. Um, I only get two magazines. This this one, I think, came out of the Saturday Evening Post. It's just an ad. But as I was putting things together and I was finding my school my supplies, I realized I was gathering together school supplies that I used as a teacher. And so I thought, okay, I want a building. I like this building because it kind of looks like a school. So I thought I'd go through with that. For my office supplies, this may look like an ordinary piece of planning paper to you. To me, this is 30 years of lesson plans. Every year we were given a notebook with this, filled with this paper and we could do our lesson plans. However, we could rearrange. I used to put grids on here and all sorts of things, but this was my plan of work. This was my, I'm, I, I'm not kidding. I can't tell you 30 years, how many pages of this I filled out year after year after year. I'm going to go to up to the 19, 19. You can tell when we, I switched to 2000. I think I have some of these that say 2000 on them. Okay, but that also kind of gives me my white space. I'll put that aside for later. And then a school building. What else do I have to have? I have to have a key. Where'd my key go? There's my key. That's the key to knowledge. There we go. My key to knowledge. I need some tissue paper, so I'm going to cover up the rest of that with some tissue paper. And what colors do I have? I just have some scraps here. I do have some other scraps over here. These are smaller scraps. Maybe I'll use a smaller scrap. I was kind of looking for something to go with that blue, but I really don't have anything. Well, I've got a light blue here. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Let's put that down first. Let's get everything organized here. We're going to put this down first. So tear that out a little bit more. We'll put you back away. There we go. If I do it that way, that fits. I have to get out a new glue stick and a back. Got a new stick. So the weather here in the Finger Lakes has changed and it is actually quite warm in my study or my craft room. It was in the, oh, I would say it was in the 70s before and now it is definitely in the 80s. It is toasty. Definitely toasty. And I'm going to use all of you, but for you, I'm going to use my cheap old gold glue stick that has a something stuck to it. Let me get rid of that. So I've been doing these Marguerite Miller challenges now for 23 weeks. Um, <coughs> sorry. One of the problems with being in the Finger Lakes at the moment is that the pollen is huge. 
huge. We have a lot of pollen count right now. So I am just a little beshimmeled with that. Okay, this takes up my whole page, which was perfect. I wanted it to because this is my white space. It's not white space perhaps in the traditional sense because it has lines on it, but it is going to be my white space for today. All right, let's use the big glue stick for this. Ah, I just, <laughs> you ever have one of those days where everything is falling? Yeah, well, guess what? That's today. Everything is falling all over the place. So I started to talk about the fact that I've been doing this for 23 weeks. I don't know if I'm getting any better at it. Um, I have decided I'm going to keep going until the end of the 26 weeks. We'll do a 20, 26 and then we're, then we're going to reevaluate and see if this is something I want to keep doing. Um, I started initially to see what it was like to to collage because I have not I don't have a lot of experience with collage. Um, the key of knowledge. Let me put this little scrap of blue back in the bag so I don't lose it. Let me put those over here. Let me get rid of those. I have a box here next to me of all these goodies. Um. I think I want to go ahead and do a little bit of color around these, only to set them off a little bit more. So that's a set of books with a, a tea, a cup of tea on top of it. Well, it's a Paulette Slater image, I believe. But it was left over from my book journal, and I thought that's perfect because we're going to do the key of knowledge and all of that. So I do have a theme with this. I've, I have discovered that as I'm doing these, if I can find a theme for them, a reason for their existence, rather than just random images slapped down on a page, I, I'm finding it much more interesting. Is that the word? Okay, so this says, education's purpose is to replace an empty mind with an open one. Staff Appreciation, North Rose Wolcott, 2023. There's a 2023 calendar inside of it. And full of post-it notes. And you can see I didn't use this hardly at all, mostly because I retired in 2024. Because I think maybe I'll use a blue one. Why did I retire? Because I'd been teaching for 30 years and I was done. I think I'm going to put that right there. Let's put a little glue down and we'll keep that part down as well. So I have a little arrow. And then I thought for my white space, I do have these little washies. And I thought that might work. You know, if I really wanted something specific. So let me take this much. So they're little labels. And I'm going to put that right here. And I'm going to write, make sure my pen works. K-N-O-W-L-E-D-G-E, the key of knowledge. Yep. Oh, my pen doesn't really like this. There we go. I got a lot of space up here, but maybe we'll just stick this up here. All right. So the Marguerite Miller challenges are going fairly quickly, and so I have been kind of also doing a Scrappy Saturday with these. I did one last week. I think I'm going to go ahead and do one again this week because I have, oh my glory, I am like 
buried in scraps. So I have been trying to do something different with them. Um, sometimes I do the same thing, sometimes I do... Anyway, what I'm doing today is... Well, there we go. So there's my Marguerite Miller Challenge Week 23. A key, a building, which to me look, kind of looks like a school or a um, college. A white space. This was white. This is all white. I got white over here. Something magical. That's books. Office supply. I have both a an arrow and my plan of work. My my old lesson plan page. Um, something. Oh, office and bonus of tissue paper. And this kind of works as a little bit of white space too. All right. Let me set that aside. We'll set these pieces aside and we're going to pull out my book. I found this book in my stash. It's a, it, I think it was supposed to be a scrapbooking book it, or what it, I don't know. But anyway, I started putting some things in it and I thought this is perfect for making, for using up the scraps from those projects. And... It has all white space on the back, so I can use them however I want. So I pulled out a bunch of my greens. I have all these green strips and green long pieces. I'm going to cut that one down because it's too big. And I do like to work in rectangles, as you saw on those other pages, because that way they fit in better. So we're going to take some of these and we're going to put them up on these pages. I've got all sorts of different types here. Let me cut this one down. We'll make it a nice level edge. This was a piece that I attempted to emboss at one point and I, it did not emboss well. In fact, that does not look very level at all. Let me put that there and then try that one more time. I guess it's level. Okay, just just look. With the embossing on it makes it look weird. Um, I have a strip. We'll throw that in somewhere. I have pretty flowers. We'll throw those in somewhere. And then I have a bunch of strips here that I can just use to fill in wherever. All right, let's put that up there and get rid of it. And we'll start here. If you are playing around with your scraps, of course, making a master board is just one way of doing it. Um, and then what do you do with the master boards? Well, you cut them up and you use them in your various projects. And to be honest with you, I have bins filled with scraps. And then I carry the crafter was saying something about at the end of every project, he makes a master board out of his scraps. And I thought, you know, that makes a whole lot more sense than the way I've been doing it, which is all of these bins filled with scraps. Make the master board and then you've got it. Then you can use it. So these are scraps from a nature journal and they will make another beautiful nature journal because believe me I will be making more nature journals. I, I really enjoy doing them. I like putting the um, I, I can't, you know, I never really, if you ask me what my favorite color is, I'm going to tell you purple. I love purple. But to be honest with you, most of my, I like green too. My rooms are all green. I don't know that that's going to work. I may have to get out my better. Where'd that go? There it is. Yeah, I want my better. Glue. I was using the cheap glue, and I, cheap glue is exactly that. It does not work particularly well. Okay, let's try putting that in there. Much better. It's still a little bit 
wrinkled because of the embossing on it, but it's sticking much better. Do I have any rhyme or reason for doing this? Nope. When I do this, I just put things down wherever they happen to go. You may be hearing a backup something. I don't know. They're doing work down the street again. Again, again. It seems like there's always work going on down there. Would that fit up there? Oh, might be just a little bit tall. And what's nice is that um, master boards take your solids and turns them into something interesting. Because when you have nothing but solids, it can get kind of boring. So this turns them into something a little bit more interesting. I'm not going to worry about that piece flapping off up there. I'll just cut it off in a bit. So I hope you're crafting along with me. Grab your scraps. I'm doing green today. You can do whatever color you want. You know, I have this long strip here. Let me cut that down. I like to work with the smaller pieces because then not only do they fit better or fit differently, but they, uh, I don't know, I want to make sure I'm not, I don't want to do strips. i got to be careful not to do strips, and that's one of the things when I do master boards that I really have to watch out for, because I tend to do strips. There we go. Oh, what the heck. Let's just put it down there. It's going to fit. Get that glue up and onto here. By the time you watch this, I will have done, you, you will, if you're watching my channel on a regular basis, I just did an entire video on the different types of books this, I guess, would qualify as a type of glue book. Let's put some of this yellow in. It's really, I say yellow, but it's really kind of an olive green with some yellow on it. Yeah, just to make some interesting contrast. There we go. I only have two pieces of that, so let's get rid of that and we'll get that on there. If you've never made a master board before, there are no rules. I use rectangles just because it's easier for me. I have tried using lots of different shapes and sizes and whatnot, and not, and it just I don't know, my brain doesn't work that way and I can't figure out how they go. So um, I prefer to use rectangles. That's me, it does not have to be you, you do you. You do whatever makes, and if you notice I'm not measuring, I'm coming up with different sizes and shapes and that's fine. And whatever I don't have, um, whenever I have a white space, I can always fill it in with washi. So that's not a, a big deal. Although I have a lot, a lot, a lot of these very thin shapes. So I can always fill in there too. See, I'm going to end up with a spot here. And that'll be perfect for one of those thin pieces. Adds interest. That's what we're looking for here is making something interesting out of something you would normally throw away. 
Now there's a slice of red down there, and I could have taken the red off, but, you know, slice of interesting. Slice of interesting. I still have some more of these. And I have this piece. This piece. Obviously, it is a triangle, not a... Not a... Not one I'm necessarily willing to... Okay, let's go ahead and put that one down. And I will cut off the top. Because then I want to fill in with some of these other little pieces. Like I have this piece. So if I put that here, now where do my scraps come from? Oh my glory, everywhere. There is some overlap here. You know, this piece is overlapping, that piece is overlapping, this piece, and that's okay. I am going to go ahead, take a minute here, and cut that piece off. I'm not doing a great job of cutting them off at this point because I'm I will do more cutting off later. It's not quite long enough and I'm sticking to this, which means time to go away. I've got this really pretty flowery color. Let me put that up there. So these are oftentimes when you get a, a paper pack and there is a different contrasting color at the top of the page. That's where a lot of these little thin ones have come from. They were up at the top of the page. Let's take a minute and cut all you guys off. One of the problems with having this particular setup is that There we go. When I take that page out, I can trim up a lot more if I really want to. Put that one away, and I have this little tiny piece that I think will look very nice down there. See, I'm overlapping, and that's okay. I don't mind that. I have this big, thick green piece. Let's go ahead and just kind of overlap that over everybody. I say big, thick. It's about um, an inch, maybe. Go there to there. Now, What's this one? That has words on it. I don't know if I want words on this one. It's not quite wide enough. This one's a very thin piece. Okay, that one's thick enough, but it has the... I don't think I care that it has the perforations on it. I think that's, I'm okay with that. It gives it a little bit more character, right? And when you cut these up, you never know exactly how they might be used. So it could be that that ends up being something else entirely anyway. Just want a little bit of that. This one, I think I will cut the red off because I don't need the width. So on this Scrappy Saturday, this is just one way to use up all of these little extra pieces that you have and get rid of them. All these little pieces 
I chose this one to be a green one. You can choose whatever colors you happen to have, whatever you want to get rid of. Okay, that's more of that. I don't want to use that. I have these I'm not going to use. I do like that green. It's just very thin. But that's okay. We'll put a thin piece down there. <coughs> and then oh, I have another thin piece. These are off of a rick. I mean, they're still connected, you know, like, so you can tell that that definitely came out of a paper pack. There. So I used up a lot of my green, which is really nice to be, have done. I'm going to cut through this. This will make this easy when I can come from this direction. Cut off my whole bottom edge there of pieces. Those will go, I'm, well that one's kind of a nice piece. I'll keep that one, but those will go away. Of course they're stuck to my finger because I have glue all over everything. And then we'll cut the top. Come on. There. Trim up the top. And we're done. On this Scrappy Saturday, we have made a glue thing. And then these are from a previous project. Obviously, I had a lot of scraps, but if you can notice, these are all little. These are these were little scraps that I had. And so now I have these. I have probably enough that I can do one more green one, but I think I'm going to leave it at this point. And in fact, I have a plan that I may be taking this out of the uh, my book fairly soon and using it because I'm doing a summer journal. And with the, those in there, that kind of makes it look summery. We'll see. All right. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and share them. Let everybody see them. Uh, make sure you click the like button to let YouTube know that you're liking what I'm putting out. And in the meantime, this is Cindy signing off.